Sometimes you want to get rid of a sun glow or the yellow cast in an image. So let's go through the steps on how to remove the sun glow. I will make a copy of the original image and start with a new document from the clipboard. If you have an image on the clipboard, you can press the command shift option N key and Affinity will open a new document with the image from the clipboard. For this technique, I'm going to use the RGB color separation using multiply blend modes. For more information about that, see the link in the description. I have a macro which takes care of that. A quick recap for the ones who have not seen the video about this subject. It is basically making three duplicates and then applying a fill layer to them with multiply blend mode. The three duplicates are then added to each other with at the bottom a black fill layer. For removal of the sun glow, we are going to make some changes on these layers. First, we need to change the bottom fill layer to white. Then, change the blend mode of the channel layers from add to multiply. This results in a black image. To get the image back, we are going to change the blend mode of the fill colors from multiply to screen. Awesome! Now we have a very dark image. The next step is to swap the position of the red channel with the blue channel in the layer stack. Or, in other words, the blue channel should be on top, followed by the green and the red. Now that our layers are set up correctly, we can change the blend ranges. For the blue, we need to slightly lower the shadows from the source layer. From the green channel, a slight decrease in the highlights and finally, the blend range of the red channel, which is a bit depending on your image. Basically, you should lower the highlights, but then move the starting and the end point of the line until you are happy. Perfect! We now have an image which is much more natural looking. I will move a copy of the original on top and turn it on and off to see the difference. Pretty amazing! As you have noticed, this process has made the image darker. This will not always be the case, depending on your photo, but if the result is too dark, we can easily fix this by adding a levels adjustment. I can slightly adjust the starting black level point, followed by moving the white level to the end of the graph. Optionally, to dim the contrast, I can also slightly lower the output white level. Awesome! Let's have a look at the before and the after. Pretty cool! I have applied this technique to some other images and let's have a look at them. Here is a nice image where there is definitely a lot of sun glow. And this is the end result when we apply this technique. Let's quickly go through the blend ranges. As you can see, they are quite similar. You can adjust them for your needs and playing with the blend range of the red can also create nice color effects. In this example, I have not used a levels adjustment. But we can add a levels adjustment to make the image a bit stronger. Let's have a look at our final example. This is the original and let me turn it off so we can see the result of this technique. Awesome! In this example, let's have a look at the blend ranges and as you can see, the blend range of the red channel is a bit different, but the rest of the channels are quite similar. We can modify the blend range of the red channel to get exactly what we want. Again, you can add some corrective adjustments, like in this case, I have added a curves adjustment, which gives me fine control how the final result will look like. We could also add a levels adjustment if needed. I think you get the idea. Thank you for watching and hope you learned something new and like this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep safe and until the next video.